Uh, let's go and let's go and try to encounter Ente over this way. Not even looking at the map, I'm just gonna run over this way and go over to Route 31 and see if we find them. You're almost thousands of miles away? Oh, okay, I see, I see. Well, why is she just dumb? Who it been? Alright, well, we're in Entei's Nest. Alright, Route 31. Obviously Entei's Nest. That's obviously where Entei always hangs out. And it's Entei. Oh, freaking Bellsprout. Excuse me, Mr. Bellsprout. Mrs. Bellsprout. Sorry, terribly sorry. Would you please direct me to the nearest Entei? No? Alright, well, get out of my way. There is Ente. Prepare to see Ente faint, and then we will just uh, reset the game. That's what's going to happen. I'm going to try using Lick on this Ente. See if we can knock his HP down to, you know, the 1 or 2 range without knocking him out. I don't think it's going to work, but it's worth a try at this point. We've been trying to catch the legendary dogs for 6 hours or something. So, let's try it. We use hypnosis to put him to sleep. That kind of joke is from a character from the regular show. I see. I see. Okay. Okay, time to try Lick. He's asleep and all that. Sit him with Lick and hopefully not knock him out. Yes! Ente is at like zero HP right now, okay. That was definitely worth the try then. Alright, alright, we're in prime, we're at the prime time, we're in the, we've hit the prime time, we've hit the big time. We have a golden opportunity here to try to catch this Ente. I believe, I believe we can do it. I believe in us, I believe in myself, I believe in my balls, the ultra ones. I believe in our Lord, Helix. He will bless our throne balls. Give us the strength and gusto and daring to catch an Ente. But not on that throw. I'm going to save after this battle just so we can have Ente at that HP all the time, by the way, if we don't catch him. Okay, okay, come on now. Come on now, give me a wiggle at least. Okay, okay. I just asked for one wiggle, you know? We start off small. We start off small. We get a wiggle here, we get a wiggle there. You know. We build up. We build up to the prime time. Let's hit it with another hypnosis. Okay. Alright, I'm still, I'm still just looking for one wiggle. That's all I want right now. Just one wiggle. We had one before, you know, let's just get another one. Let's just get a taste of what it's like. It's the idea of having caught the center. That's all I want. Just give me one wiggle. I'm trying to be reasonable here, game. Come on. Throw me a freaking bone here. All I want is just one. Just one little wiggle. Just a little one. Look, I can do it. See, look, I'm wiggling. Wiggle my finger. Wiggle my ball, please. That's all I want. Just a little wiggle. Just a little wiggle. Can I not eat? Alright, well, if you're not going to give me anything, I might as well ask for it all. Catch the Ente. Next ball. Just give me the Ente. Just get it in the ball. And let me have it. And this time, though. Give me the damn dog. I'm gonna call this Ente Baxter if I catch it. I've decided... Usually I ask you guys for nicknames in the chat. Well, I don't know, Froggy had a really good, a really good suggestion for a dog's name, though. For, for Entei's name. She had really good suggestions for Suicune and Entei, actually. But Baxter is such a good name for Entei. Hmm. I don't know, we'll have to wait and see. I'll submit that myself. I'll put that in the chat myself. When we're talking about nicknames for Entei when we catch it. Yes! 
Finally! It's taken like six hours, but we caught the end day. Nicknames, guys. Nicknames in the chat. Nicknames for the end day. Volcanoes erupt when it barks. Unable to restrain its extreme power, it races headlong around the land. And that is Pokemon number 229. Nicknames for Entei, guys. Nicknames for Entei. Unbe freaking leaveable. Finally. We finally got it. You thought I just said I already have a name? I know I, I have my own name in mind. Baxter. That's a that's a name that I wouldn't mind giving him. Nicknames for Entei. Oops, I just rang the bell. <laughs> I need to change the hotkey I have for the bell. Nicknames, nicknames. Does anybody have a nickname? Thinking, thinking of a nickname. My suggestion would be... Next is my suggestion. Wiggler. <laughs> Wiggler. Of course, of course we should name it Wiggler. Chaplin? As in Charlie Chaplin? What does Charlie Chaplin look like? Roar. <laughs> name him Roar. Entei 2. Entei 2? Come on, Froggy, I know you've got a name suggestion for this. You've got to put it in the chat, though. You've got to put it in the chat. Thinking, hey, Poke Ryan 558 Thanks for following, by the way. Apologies if the nicknaming takes a little while, guys, but it took six hours to catch him, so I don't mind if it takes six minutes to nickname him. He looks like a stand-up chap. That's why you name him Chaplin, I see. I see. Froggy said Mufasa? Did she? Yeah, Mufasa. Damn, Mufasa is a good one. Mufasa is a damn fine name for Ente. Oh, you already put it in the chat? You did, yeah. Mufasa will just name it whatever you wanted to. Oh, you said it before I even said nicknames for Ente, please. So uh, that's why I missed it, Froggy. Thank you. That's why I missed it. It was right before what I said, so I didn't look at it. Mufasa? I don't know. Baxter's pretty good, though. Baxter is pretty good. Here's Baxter. I'll show you guys Baxter. There's Baxter. Wiggly sounds perfect. That's why I want to name it Baxter. Name it after the dog and anchor man. Starfire? Hey, Beaks. Starfire? I could. I mean, he does have a star on his face, doesn't he? That'd be a good name. Starfire. Simba. Between Simba and Mufasa, I think I'd go for Mufasa. Entei looks more Mufasa to me. Cerberus? Cerberus is pretty good. Cerberus. Hmm. Good nicknames today. Good nickname suggestions today. Maybe we should have a straw poll. Maybe I'll make a straw poll because these are all good nicknames. Like, there are a few really good nickname suggestions right now. I'm going to make a straw poll. Usually I don't do this for nicknames. Usually I just make the executive decision. So I will make a straw poll for them. Nickname for Ente. Mufasa. Baxter. Um, let me see. Which one was another good one? Starfire. It's definitely a good one. Starfire, let's see, there was another one, wasn't there? Cerberus, Cerberus is a good one. Cerberus. But everyone picks, bet everyone picks, picks Mufasa, no love for Simba. Oh, who cares about Simba? Exactly. Okay, I'll make this poll. Alright guys, please answer this poll if you'd like to choose. What the nickname would be for, uh, for... For, uh, Entei. I'll vote for Baxter, of course, because that is my submission, but I really can't decide between these names, so. It looks like a Japanese warrior? Kinda does look like a samurai, doesn't he? You like how the two-hour stream is a su successful one? Yeah, I, w I was actually considering not streaming today, since it was only gonna be two hours, but, uh, yeah, it's it's good. I've called Entei, you know, got a lot of people to chat to. Samurai Doge. Well, right now, oh, Mufasa just took the lead. It was 3-3-2, Mufasa, Baxter, Cerberus. Nobody's voting for Starfire. Even the guy who submitted the name Starfire hasn't voted for Starfire. 
That's kind of funny. Mufasa has four votes, Baxter has three votes, and Cerberus has two votes, guys. Oh, Mufasa's pulling ahead again. Five votes for Mufasa. I killed Mufasa. Mufasa on six votes, Baxter on three, Cerberus on two. So unless there's a big resurgence for Baxter or Cerberus, it looks like Mufasa will be the name we go with. I'll give it another few moments, guys, just in case, you know, people haven't gotten their votes in. He looks old and wise, Mufasa or Riot. I don't know, when Froggy told me Mufasa was her name, nickname suggestion off stream, I was like, yeah, damn, that is a really good name. That is a really good, the only reason I even questioned it was because I came up with Baxter, which I think is a good name, but Mufasa is probably better. He looks like he has a deep voice, yeah. Call him Pumba too. All right, guys, it's been long enough. Well, Baxter did just get another vote, but I think it's been long enough, guys. Entei's nickname will be Mufasa. Thank you, Froggy, for the suggestion. Mufasa. Now, I wonder which Pokemon will end up naming uh, Scar. All right. Entei has finally been caught. Thank you, guys. Thank you. I must thank you guys for hanging out with me while I do that. It took so long to catch Mufasa. Entei the Mufasa. Mufasa the Entei. He was on 1 HP, by the way. We got him down to 1 HP with that lick. He's sleeping with 1 HP. And we finally managed to catch him. He's got Leer, Ember, Roar, and Fire Spin. They're all pretty crap, to be honest. But there you go. Very high attack, this Entei. I don't know if it's true of all Entei's, but this Entei in particular has high attack. And high speed, of course. So I guess uh, he needs some physical moves to be good. Now let's fly back to Ecrotech City. Let's see here. Back to Ecrotech. Alright. Let's heal him up and we'll put him in the PC, I guess. I wish, you know what I wish each of the legendary dogs all had mean look. So then if you caught one, you could use that as your Pokemon to catch the others, or at least to mean look the first turn. That'd be pretty great. Mufasa. We finally did it. We finally did it. Yeah, he does look cool too. Alright, off to the PC he goes. Save? Oh, thank you. Sa thank you, Alithia. Thank you for reminding me. Imagine if I didn't save and then I forgot to save until like the end of the stream. And then just turned off the console after I turned off the stream and forgot to save completely. I'm like, no! That would be a disaster. That would be an absolute disaster. An unparalleled disaster. Alright, off goes Mufasa. Into the PC. Now we have one more Pokemon to catch. Actually, you know what? I can, uh... Oh, I don't have it written up there. I have some of the Pokemon written up here that I need to, uh, to catch. Still in Pokemon Gold. Let's even have a look at the Pokedex. We have so few Pokemon left to catch. And it's going to take a while to get them, though. Okay, we have the starter Pokemon, so we're going to have to reset Pokemon Silver a couple of times to get those. That's fine. Then we have... Ladybird is from Pokemon Silver and its evolution. Ekans is from Pokemon Silver. Steelix is from trading to Pokemon Silver. Politoed, the same trade. Slowking is a trade. Okay. Uh, Scizor is a trade. Vulpix is from Silver. Yalf is from Silver. Espeon, we're going to get in silver, that we could get it in this one. Kingdra, we're going to have to trade from silver. Delibird is in silver. Fanpy and its evolution are in silver. Uh, Skarmory is the one that's missing there, and that's from silver. Okay, Porygon 2 we get from trading. Uh, Bulbasaur, we're breeding for right now, and we'll evolve it into Ivysaur. Charmander, we've got, so we'll evolve that into Charmeleon. Squirtle, we're breeding for, oh, we've got an egg for right now, so we'll, and we'll evolve that to War Turtle. Suicune, so we're going to catch. Soon enough, we'll catch it. I don't know, maybe I should... I, I'm starting to question. Okay, let, let me ask you guys in the chat. I won't bother doing a straw poll for this, but I'll just ask you. Would you rather see me continue trying to catch Suicune in Pokemon Gold with Ultra Balls? Or would you rather I just do the playthrough of Pokemon Silver, get the Master Ball, and then trade that to Gold to make catching Suicune easier? 
I wouldn't really mind either way. I wouldn't really mind too much either way. And then we have, off the end of the Pokedex, you can't even see its space, Celebi. Which we'll have to get through a glitch, unfortunately. As well as Mew. Mew and Celebi, the only Pokemon we are getting that have gotten via glitches. And we did get Mew via glitch, and we will get Celebi via a glitch. Alright, let's save one more time when we're standing right here in Ecotech. Alright. Well, for the next 10 minutes regardless, the stream only has 10 minutes left, guys. I will look for Suicune in this game. But whatever you guys decide, I will, uh, you know, maybe I'll start, maybe, I don't know, maybe I'll make the executive decision. I might play through, you know, on uh, Sunday, I'm next streaming on Sunday, I might start the Pokemon Silver playthrough, or I might just continue looking for Suicune in this with Ultra Balls. Whichever you guys would really prefer to see balanced with, you know, whether I strongly feel either way. Oh, Suicune's off over there now. You really love the design of Skarmory? Skarmory is definitely a cool Pokemon. Okay, where is Suicune now? Now it's going to be harder to actually encounter it though. We've been uh, searching for two Pokemon this whole time. Now we've only got one Pokemon up for the catch. So it'll be a little bit more difficult to actually get the encounter going in the first place. Okay, is Suicune around here? Nope, Suicune's up at the Lake of Rage. We will make our way across to... Uh, Mahogany Town. Okay. So, so far, only two people really have a preference whether I do a, a Pokemon Silver playthrough, get the Master Ball and trade it to Pokemon Gold to catch the Suicune, or if I just try to catch it in Ultra Balls, which will certainly take longer. Well, now Suicune's off to the freaking uh, west. So we'll head east to hope that Suicune crosses over this way. Okay, at least we don't have to check two dogs every time. Now, that is one pleasant thing. Oops, Suicune. Now he's off to the east, so we'll head west to try to get him to meet us in a route. Now he's north again, every time he's going north. Okay, where is he? He's off to the west. If patterns persist, which they may not, as it is randomized, he should be in the north now. And he's in the east. Oh! What hellish alternate reality have I submitted myself to? He's in the east. We will head west. Okay, okay. The north? Oh my goodness, this Suicune is just so evasive. Where is he now? In the east? My goodness. One of these times he's going to meet us in the same route. One of these times. In the north. Oh dear. Oh dear. East, north, east, north. Oh, I check north, he's in the west. Check east, oh, he's in the west. He's in the north. Wherever I am not. He is. Okay, okay. Four Starfire, 14 votes and not a single one for Starfire, really? I'll check the straw poll again. Although I doubt people have continued to vote in it after I've uh, caught the Entei. Nicknamed the Entei. I was surprised nobody voted for Starfire, even the guy who suggested Starfire as a name didn't vote for Starfire. It's kind of, uh, kind of funny. I guess he decided somebody else's name was better. It was Beaks. If you were Beaks, you would feel personally offended. Oh yeah, absolutely. And you'd have every uh, every right to be so. My goodness, the Suicune. Let's just go north again. Either he didn't vote at all or he voted, for, voted on something else, yeah. It was a good name. It was a good name. Okay, Suicune's all the way down there now. Where is he now? Where is he now? Suicune, please meet me here. 
I should just send Suikun a note. Meet me at Route 44. Okay, now he's he's buggered right off now. As Suikun, so we will fly to reset his position. Do you think the next Pokemon should be called Starfire? I don't know if Starfire would make sense for Suikun. Suikun is is you know potentially the next Pokemon that I'll catch. I don't like to use names just because they're good on a Pokemon that it doesn't suit. You know, Starfire suits Entei because of the star on his face and his fire type. You know. But you think Starfire is more the name for a bird? It could be for a bird. It could definitely be for a bird. Not this one, whatever it is, if it's a Pidgey. No, it's actually not a bird. Alright, Stantler. But regardless, it is not what I'm looking for. Excuse me, excuse me, trees. Where's the stamp Pokemon? Anyone have... B Create Rayquaza? I have no idea what that is. Tony Cruz, 1999. Uh, you'd probably have better luck finding people who have specific Pokemon like that on Pokemon uh, forums. Like, go on Reddit and look up Pokemon trades or something like that. Pokemon Exchange. Alright, we're in the same route as uh, Suicune right now, so we do have a chance to find it. Yeah, you'd be much better off, Tony Cruz. In fact, you know what? I might go and find that Reddit myself. Just to link people to it, because I have people come in here asking about, like, hey, does anyone have this Pokemon, like, I don't know, every day now? I don't know, Pokemon Raids. I think that's the subreddit. Uh, this, this looks like it, 30,000 subscribers, 32,000 subscribers. Yeah, try this. Tony Cruz, if you're looking for a specific Pokemon like that, try that subreddit. Good place. I don't go there myself because I just don't like, you know, trading for specific Pokemon or whatever. It's not my thing, but yeah, if that's what you're looking for, that's a better place for it. And no worries. Okay, we're in the same route as Suicune right now. Right now. Oh, I hate when my voice starts getting hoarse. Because usually, you know, it just gets hoarse from streaming anyway, but uh, particularly lately I've been having some... Uh, allergic reactions to the pollens in the air. And my voice uh, has even less endurance than usual. Alright, are we still... Is Suikun still here? Yes, okay. He's in Route 35, I'm in Route 35. Suikun and I have a lot in common. When it comes down to it, he has an itchy head, I have an itchy head. There we go. There we go. Okay, okay. This time. This time. Want to need Rand Mail? I want a Suicune of either gender or none. You know, I don't discriminate. No hate. Don't discriminate. All right, all right. This time, after this drowsy, this drowsy, you know, is just sent by Helix to test our resolve. You wouldn't mind a new Pokemon on 3DS? Neither would I. Although Oras didn't come out that long ago, so here we go, Suicune. We just caught Ento and we've got another Suicune encounter right before the end of the stream. Alright. Let's mean look this guy so that he can't run on the first turn. He can still use Raw on the first turn, so we'll see. Haha! -ha. He used Raw, but it failed. Alright, Hypnosis failed. Raw, clear. Okay, lit. Mean look. Raw failed. Hypnosis failed. Lear failed. There we go. How many failures before something lands? Dear oh dear. Yeah, usually I stream for four hours, guys, but uh, today it's Thanksgiving. I have a lot of plans for the day, so I will be ending the stream after this encounter with Suicune. However it ends. Positively or negatively. Thank you, Helix. I never gave up hope. I never stopped believing in our Lord Helix, and finally he has rewarded our faith, our trust in his spirally appendages. Nicknames for the Suicune, guys! Nicknames for the Suicune. Said to be the reincarnation of North Winds, it can instantly purify filthy murky water. 
Do we have some nicknames, guys? You know what? I have a nickname suggestion, but I'm gonna have to Google to make sure I spell it correctly. Oh no, I know how to spell it. Just make sure. I'll just make sure. You know what? Hmm. I need to look up, actually, while you guys are saying nicknames. Aurora? Well, I mean, I would name it Aurora. Aurora is a good name, but it's already the Aurora Pokemon, so it's like, eh, I don't know if I want to call it Aurora. It says right there, it's like, Sumikun, Aurora, you know. So it's a good nickname suggestion, but since it already says it there, it'd be like calling Entei Volcano or something. Icelance? Icelance is not a bad one. Starfire, of course, advance. Purple Rain? Purple rain. Some stay dry and others feel the pain. Purple. You want to name it Darth Vader? <laughs> Death Corsair. Darth Vader. Of course. Because of the amount of times you've said no. Because of the Suicune was too damn high. Yeah. Hmm. I'm looking up if there's a name for the person that I'm, uh, that I'm actually. No, I don't think there actually is. Hmm. Okay. My nickname suggestion is Yue. Y U E. That's my nickname suggestion. Cerberus Round 2. Hey, Infamous Hops. Oh, Froggy? Yeah, oh, yeah. Haku was way better. Haku was the best. I'd forgotten what Froggy's nickname suggestion was. I like Aurora, but it's already the Aurora Pokemon, so I don't want to name it that. Sapphire is good. Darth Vader is funny. Starfire, advance, come on. Ice Lance is good. There are a lot of good nickname suggestions, but Haku? Haku is the best. Haku is the best. I'm going to give it a couple of more moments, guys, in case other people have, you know, nickname suggestions for Haku. Haku is a Spirited Away uh, character. Yeah. Hold on, let me find a... Uh, let me find a good picture while you guys are still suggesting nicknames. Spirited Away. Haku. I need to find a good picture. To show you guys what Haku looks like. Yeah, this is pretty good. Whoops, I just pressed the... Okay, good. There's Haku. If you guys have any better nickname suggestions than Haku, you've only got a few moments to submit them. I'll give you guys all a moment to look at that Haku picture as well to understand why it's such a good... It is a good nickname suggestion. Haku. It is a damn fine nickname suggestion. It has duck legs, you reckon? What, Haku or Suicune? Oh, Haku does. Yeah, I can see that. Kind of funny. Makes it less scary? I don't know, those claws, those talons, would be pretty scary. Alright, guys. Unless something else pops up in the chat right away, Haku is going to be the nickname suggestion. Wouldn't, wouldn't you look at that? Froggy got uh, both of the nickname suggestions. For Suicune and Entei. Totally not biased, guys. Totally not because she's my wife. Well... She had the best nickname suggestions, didn't she? Alright, and Suicune is Pokemon number 230. Alright. We finally freaking did it. Finally. Let's actually go to Goldenrod now. Gotta go cook some... Okay. See you later, Infamous Hops. Thanks for hanging out, and uh, enjoy your Thanksgiving. Alright, guys. The only legendary we have left to catch in this entire Pokemarathon Classic event that I've been doing on my stream. Playing through red, blue, gold, and silver, catching all 251 Pokemon. The only legendary left is Celebi. And we'll have to catch that via glitch, and that will be the very last Pokemon that we catch. The very last one. But we're not ready to catch that one just yet. We'll go and check the, uh, the daycare center before we finish up the stream, guys, but it is... Just about time to end. I'll save the game. Don't worry, guys. I know you're thinking, save the damn game! Save it, please! What are you doing? Okay, we have an egg. Yes. That's what I was hoping for. Thank 
Thank you. Give me the egg. So now we have... That should be a Bulbasaur egg. Do we have a Kabuto already? I think we've already filled in Kabuto, haven't we? I should wipe that off my uh, board. There we go. Alright. We can deposit Haunter now. Thanks, streamer. Well, no, no, no problem, Nixtix. I do enjoy it. I do it for fun, so... Nothing you have to thank me for, but I do appreciate it. Thank you guys all for hanging out with me today. You've made it a blast, as usual. Alright. Put Bulbasaur, or Plant Man, the uh, Venusaur, back in the PC as well. Alright, alright. Where is he? Where is he? Plant Man. Alright guys, we're done with Pokemon Gold for now. We will come back to Pokemon Gold a little bit. You know, we'll have to level up some Pokemon for evolutions. And we'll have to uh, trade over between gold and silver. But as of now, we are done with Pokemon Gold. So on Sunday when I get back, I will be doing Pokemon Silver, finally. Computer end stream. Alright guys, thank you all so much for hanging out with me today. I'll be back online on Sunday playing Pokemon Silver. We're starting a new playthrough of Pokemon Silver as this whole Pokemarathon Classic thing. We're at 230 Pokemon caught. Only a few Pokemon Silver uh, specific Pokemon to catch and then some Pokemon to evolve and via trades like Politoed and, uh, and Steelix and things. We're very close to the end so I hope you'll all join me by Pokemon Silver playthrough. Until then I will quickly check my Twitch following list to uh, see if there is somebody I would like to host. There isn't always somebody I'd like to host, so we'll see. Fallout 4, bleh. Skyrim, bleh. Clickbait title, bleh. Okay. So there's nobody I'd like to host, although if you guys have suggestions for Pokemon streamers I should check out, please do tweet them at me. I would always love to find more Pokemon streamers to, uh, to watch and to host. Would be nice, would be nice to find them. All right, guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me. I'm done for the day. Happy Thanksgiving if you're in America. If you're not, happy day anyway. <laughs> and I will see you all again on Sunday for more Pokemon for the start of the Pokemon Civil playthrough. See you then.